Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Aldrich Arena in Maplewood for the Section 4A semifinal between the number five seed St. Paul Academy Spartans and the number one seed Matamidi Zephyrs. Justin Barrientos along with you here today on SCC Sports. And we have a good one for you here today. Matamidi, the number one seed, the defending state champions in Class A, hoping to regain their title have slipped just a little bit as far as the uh, records go. 15, 11, and 0 coming into today, but able to get to the section final and facing a familiar opponent in that section final in the St. Paul Academy Spartans. Here is the bracket, uh, number one and number five, and then in the bottom part of the bracket following this game at 7.30 at the Aldrich Arena, uh, you have uh, South St. Paul, who is a surprise, uh, beating Chisago Lakes. And they will be uh, taking on Southwest Christian, the uh, number two seed. So a lot of great action coming to you. There is the starting goalie, Charlie Brandt, a 5'11 senior goaltender for Amada Midai. Isaac Biltson, a senior goaltender, number 40 for St. Paul Academy. And we are underway here from Aldrich Arena, Sam Harris with the puck for Matamidi. We'll send that down looking for Wegleitner. And then St. Paul Academy took it away and back to neutral ice. It is sent back down by Matamidi. Back behind the net, Jimmy Egan. And then it'll go into the corner. Taken out by Wegleitner and then taken away by Ethan Peltier. Tried to feed Peltier in the slot. Nice pass by Will Black, but Matamidi's defense stood tall. That was Wyatt Tarnowski, number two, right in the middle, taking Peltier out of the play. And now a collision right near the blue line took out two Zephyrs, and it'll go into the right side corner. Sent on that time by Peter Hoppy. And nothing doing there as Matamidi will get it back and sent down Sam Harris looking for Strecker and then taken away in the middle by St. Paul Academy. So we said these two teams know each other well as far as playoffs go. Past couple of times, in fact, at least back to 2018, Matamidi has gotten the best of St. Paul Academy in the playoffs. Kept in by Cole Swanson. And it'll go back behind the St. Paul Academy net. Peltier tried to get a stick on it, and Cole Swanson will go back to get it from Matamida. Swanson passes forward to Brummel. Brummel will bring it across the center line and then shouldered off into the board. There is a stick on the ice from St. Paul Academy, a broken stick. It'll go back behind the Matamida net. Back to get it was Cole Swanson. He'll send it around for Brummel, and then Brummel out ahead at center ice where it was taken by Olson. Olson will dump it back down. Ice was cleared by St. Paul Academy. Stick is out of the way, so no problems there. Into the near side corner and wrapping around for Brummel. Patrick Egan dumps it down and a change for Matamida. It'll go back into their zone. Evan Johnson picks up the loose puck. Johnson looking to pass off to Egan off of his stick shot and a goal, Matamidi. And early on, Jimmy Egan with the goal for the Zephyrs, and they lead this one 1-0. One Sorry, Wegleitner, excuse me, Gene Wegleitner with the goal. That'll be his 10th goal of the season. Here you see Wegleitner just across the blue line and then takes the shot and good. And Matamidi gets on the board first. Dumped down by Cody Loida. It'll go to the far side board and off the stick of Wegleitner. Wegleitner again in front. Had a chance, but Biltson got the stick down and was able to knock that away. St. Paul Academy trying to get it out of their zone, now across the blue line. And he was sent down to the ice, Loida, 
put a hit on Black to take him off the puck. And then a return on the other end as Strecker is taken down to the ice by Murphy. Zephyr's still control. It's a good idea. Peltier just got in the way past Harris. Peltier couldn't do anything with it, and it was left off for Sheridan. Sheridan along the far side has it taken away, and that'll go back again behind Matamidai's net. 13-10 left to play here in the opening period, a 1-0 score for Matamidai. Gene Wegleitner with the goal early on. I believe unassisted. Near side, St. Paul Academy trying to dig it out of the board. Preston Kurlitz taken into the board by Harris and off the puck. And Tarnowski will bring it forward. Tarnowski has it intercepted by Luke Shano. And that'll go back to Harris along the blue line. Harris retreats and then out ahead. Pausing, waiting, looking one timer in front. Ryan Lipovitz got a stick on it in front of the net, but couldn't redirect into the net. There's a shot and a save by Biltson, and he has to go back down. Lost sight of the puck, it went behind him. And good news for him because he had no idea where the puck was after he made two consecutive saves. Icing is the call, stopping the clock at 12 14. Here's a look at Isaac Biltson getting the start in goal tonight and tested early for St. Paul Academy. Face off to the left of Biltson, controlled by Matamidai, but to neutralize. Brummel will dump it down, giving chase was Hod Klebeck. Hod Klebeck, the leading scorer for Matamidai this season. It'll float in back. Will Black trying to send it out, but kept in by Matamidai. Point blank shot, goal. Cole Swanson right in front. And it's 2-0 Matamidai. Well, we said Isaac Biltson tested early on. And Matamidai making this one look easy early on. They look right across the blue line, and Cole Swanson sends it home. Bottom of that goal, scored by number six, Sam Harris. Check that, number five, Cole Swanson. Swanson scored. Along the near side. All right, so Wegleitner will get an assist on the goal, and that one nearly went in for Wegleitner again, right in front of the net. So early on, Matamidai is able to cut through the St. Paul Academy defense and get good looking shots right in front of the net. So Wegleitner with the goal and an assist tonight. And Swanson with the goal for Matamidai. This will go back down in the Zephyr area and then picked up and sent down by Egan. He goes across ice. Here's Swanson again, Swanson skating in front, and that one was easy as well. My goodness, Swanson went backhand on the backside of the goal and gets his second of the game. We have played just over six minutes in this first period, and Matamidai already with three goals. Look at this, cutting across to Swanson, backhander, on the far side of the net, and a goal, his second of the period, and a timeout already for St. Paul Academy. So they use their one timeout here early on in the first period, as Matamidai has come out swinging. Weg Leitner with the first goal, and then Swanson with the goal assisted by Weg Leitner. Swanson's second goal assisted by Hod Klebeck. And 3-0, Jeff Poschel in his 27th season on the bench for Matamidai. As we said, they won the state championship last year in Class A. 23-8-0 was their record, capturing the second state championship for Matamidai. 
this season. A little bit down in the record, but don't let that fool you. 15, 11, and 0, oh, but they have played a lot of ranked teams this season. Both in Class A and Class AA. So it's been a difficult schedule for Matamidi. And hoping to get back to the state tournament. Icing will be called, and that'll stop the clock. We have 10.45 left to play here in the opening period. In fact, Matamidi started out the season playing a ranked opponent in Centennial, who was number 14 in Class 2A at the time, and they lost their season opener 5-0. But then they came back in the second game of the season, avenging that by beating Blaine 5-0, getting their first shutout of the season. And there's a shot put on by Loida. That was point blank. And a save made by Biltson. corner. Matamidi comes out up top to Loida. Loida shot and right on the back door was Strecker, but he couldn't get the stick down for the rebound. And there's a shot in front by uh, Braden first and a save made by Biltson. So Biltson gaining a little confidence, making some saves here after the timeout. Matamidi is still leading this one 3-0. Face off to the right of Biltson, controlled by the Zephyrs. Sam Harris dumps it down as the Zephyrs will try to regroup on offense and are taken away by St. Paul Academy. There's Sheridan, and Sheridan sent into the corner. In front, turnaround shot and a save made by Brandt. Preston Kurlitz with the shot for St. Paul Academy. Gathered the puck in the slot, tried to turn it around, and Kurlitz just couldn't pull the trigger fast enough, and it was a good save by Brandt in front. Face off to the right of Brandt. Jimmy Egan taking the draw against Cooper Olson. This will go to the near side corner where it is picked up by Wegleitner. They'll send it back down to Swanson. Swanson trying to pass out ahead at the blue line and on the run taking it was Egan. And Egan through the slot. Wegleitner picks it up near side. Wegleitner over to Brummel. Brummel being housed by Peltier and a shot by Pod Schellbeck. Klebeck, excuse me, and a save made by Bildson. So Biltson has made some nice saves here after giving up some goals early on. 9.22 remaining in the first period. Egan again taking the face off against Will Black. That went behind the Spartan net. Clash of sticks and the puck goes airborne near side. And that'll go out of the zone where it's picked up by Huddleston. And Huddleston tried to feed Peltier, but it'll just float harmlessly back behind the Matamidi net. Swanson trying to get away from Huddleston. And now Egan. Egan across the blue line and poke checked away by Casey Lynn. Trying to set something up as Huddleston sends it goalward, but Brandt able to turn it away with his stick. Cross ice pass, looking for Wegleitner across the blue line. Wegleitner looking to wrap around. Wegleitner to the slot, shot, save. Sam Harris with the shot, still not out of trouble. Egan will pick it up far side, and then poked away by Berthume. Sam Harris leaves it off. Strecker, back to Harris. Harris across the blue line. Harris turns around, and he couldn't quite get the pass off. Winston Wright came through the slot, but had his stick taken off the ice, so good decision not to pass. And now Winston Wright will gather it back again, far side blue line, and a cover-up made by Isaac Biltson, which will stop the clock with 7.46 to go. 
So several shots finding the back of the net early on for Matamidai, but Biltson has settled mid first period. 3 0 is still the score for Matamidai. Matamidai was offside, so St. Paul Academy goes back behind their net to get it. Kurlitz across the blue line has it taken away. Gloved down by Winston Wright. And that'll go into the corner. Ethan or Evan Johnson picks it up. Johnson will get the pass back from Loida. Along the near side board. This is first shot and a save made. Strecker with the slap shot and turned away stick side by Biltson. Off the near side board as the Spartans will try to switch up. Huddleston goes to the far side of the ice, trying to get something going offensively. Cooper or Will Black came over to help. And now Austin Felling sends it forward. The open ice hit, Felling picks it back up and that's deflected away in front by Murphy. This will go into the Matamidi zone, but picked up by Swanson. Swanson with the turnaround pass looking for Max Egan. And that'll be sent back behind the Matamidi net. Peltier. Trying to make something happen. Now a shot deflected in front that went off the stick of Felling in front. Nearly went into the netting, but hit the top of the glass and stays in play. Ryan Lipovitz across. And it goes to the backboard where the Spartans will handle. Cross ice pass intercepted by Swanson. Swanson in front. And a save made by Biltson. Five and a half to go, a tie up in the corner. Lipovitz tried to come away with it. It goes to neutral ice. Brummel will wait for his players to get on side and then has to dump it down. And that'll go over the board and into the netting and the clock will stop. Matamidai holding on to a 3-0 first period lead. Matamidai hoping to get to the section final for the eighth consecutive year. Great run by Matamidai. Face off in the near side circle. Clash of sticks and the puck goes to center ice. Patrick Egan sends it down. Giving chase is Cooper Olson. Olson driven into the board by Egan. That'll be sent down by Sheridan. To the near side, Patrick Egan picks up the puck. He'll go cross ice. Pad save made by Biltson. This will go into the air and over the glass. And we'll have a stoppage again as the puck goes out of the arena. Matamidai leading 3-0. Pair of goals by Cole Swanson. Gene Wegleitner with the other goal. He started everything just a few minutes into this game. Face off again near side circle. And that'll float back towards Harris. Harris taking a look. Now we'll spin around with it. Harris looking to set something up. Finding Egan. And then Wegleitner. Wegleitner looked to pass backwards and then didn't realize the stick was, where the puck was still on his stick. Back behind is Jimmy Egan. And Matamidi offside again. Here is Casey Lynn across the blue line. Great defense being played by Matamidi, trying to deflect any chance out in front for the Spartans. Here is Egan across the line. Wegleitner 
looking for the hat trick in the first period, doesn't get it. That one nearly went top shelf by Jimmy Egan, and it'll go all the way down where it'll be taken by Charlie Brandt. That goes off the stick of Curlin and back behind. To the far side, reaching out was Evan Johnson. Couldn't keep it in the zone. And so retreating is Loida. Loida not only trying to avoid the Spartan, but the official as well in the corner. And now cross ice for right, right to Strecker. Strecker, far side, shot save made by Biltson, and he will cover on the rebound and make the save. It was Braden first who had the second opportunity, but Biltson covers. You see Strecker with the first opportunity, save made, and then coming on the rebound first. And Biltson able to regroup after the initial shot to make the second save. Turn around, quick shot made by Winston Wright, off to the left. And that'll go all the way down, and we'll have icing at 2.49 remaining. Here is Charlie Brantz and his Matamidi Zephyrs 12-4-0 after scoring the first goal of the game, and that came very early in this contest. Brummel taking a look at the blue line, now advances forward, and Biltson just had to put the glove up. It went over his glove and to the glass. This will go out of the zone, and so Brummel will start the regrouping. Swanson back to Brummel. Brummel across the blue line, into the zone, tried to center, looking for it first, but it goes to the far side board. That was tipped, so no icing. Both teams will use this opportunity to switch up. Matamidi was offside. And St. Paul Academy will get it across. Shot and a glove save made by Charlie Brandt. Good looking save by Brandt. Stopped it with the glove and then thought, maybe I'll leave it off for my teammates, but then covered up instead. And we get the whistle with 2.02 remaining. Take a look at this again. Just a quick glove save, and then back down to cover up was Brandt. Behind Tarnowski, and nearly intercepted, but off of a stick, and now Felling across the blue line. Felling looking to go into the slot, but trailing was Max Egan, couldn't get there in time. Go back behind the Spartan net. Left off and Felling will send it cross ice. That will go all the way down and this will be icing. Matamidi, three goals here in this first period with the early advantage. Last time these two teams met was in the semifinal of Section 4A. Last year, almost to the day, February 28, 2023, Matamidi scored nine goals in that game, advancing to the section final with a 9-1 win over St. Paul Academy. Shot in front, Tarnowski turned away by Biltson. Left off for Harris. Harris will skate around. Now we'll send it off the board, looking for Felling. Less than a minute remaining in the period. And that will stay in the neutral zone. And going back is Harris. Dumped down. Biltson will come out of the crease to try to slow it down. Kept in by Harris. Harris. Tried to center, and that went through the wickets of Decker. To the near side and tied up along the board. 25 seconds remaining. Everybody coming over to help. Referees taking a look to see if it's frozen. 
10 seconds tick away. And it's finally taken out by the Spartans, and they will send it down. And that'll be icing, which will stop the clock at 5.4 seconds to go. So a very action-filled first six minutes of this first period, with Matamidi going on a scoring spree. And then we've kind of settled in for the remainder of this first period. Remember, St. Paul Academy took their timeout. They do not have a timeout remaining for this game. But it was a good timeout because it stopped the bleeding. And that'll be the end of the first period as Matamidi will head to the first intermission with a 3-0 advantage over St. Paul Academy. So lots of congratulations here for Matamidi after a good first period of play. And we will step aside. You are watching Section 4A Semifinal Hockey Action here on SCCC Sports. I look nice, don't I? I see you. Adding your own flavor to fashion comes with age. Forgetting how to add doesn't. Finding it difficult to work with numbers may be a sign of Alzheimer's. That are you okay? An early diagnosis can help improve the quality of life for your loved one. Right. High school. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Do you want to talk about what happened earlier? Learn the warning signs of Alzheimer's. Some things come with age. Some others don't. Yeah, yeah, hello. I'm, I'm really not sure if this is what you all do but I, I really don't have anywhere else to turn. Hi. I don't even know why I'm calling right now. I'm sorry. Um, my thoughts are going a mile a minute. My kids are out of state. My, my buddies from the army are all gone now. I'm really alone. I left the service last year. My mom just passed away a few months ago. I miss so much time with her. I keep getting calls about the bills, and I'm trying to get a job, but I feel so stuck. Okay, ma'am, I'm glad you called. Okay, sir, let's stay on the line and walk through some things. Thanks. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. My son, Ricky, took his life by the use of a firearm. It broke me in ways that I never knew that I could be broken. And I contemplated suicide. I still own my firearm. I keep it in a safe because I want to keep my grandson and myself safe. Store your gun securely. Locked, unloaded, and away from ammo. When people are fed, futures are nourished. They can connect with the world around them, unlock endless possibilities, and thrive. Join the movement to end hunger. Volunteer. Advocate. Donate. Go to feedingamerica.org slash act now. Aldrich Arena in Maplewood as Matamidi leads St. Paul Academy 3-0 in this first semifinal in Section 4A of Boys Hockey. Justin Barrientos along with you here on SCC Sports. And uh, it was, as we said, a very uh, action-filled first six minutes of the first period with the three goals from uh, Matamidi scored in those first six minutes. Gene Wegleitner got the goal scoring 
early, off an assist uh, by uh, Had Shelbeck. And then the second goal from Cole Swanson. Interesting, Cole Swanson had two goals all season long for Matamidi in the regular season. And here in the first period of this one, two goals as he got that backhander there as well. Weg Leitner also had an assist in that first period. That was the 10th goal of the season for Weg Leitner. And look at that disparity in shots. Matamidi kind of had this arena tilted towards goaltender Isaac Bildson, who was just under fire in that first half of the first period. 17 shots overall, just two shots for St. Paul Academy. Uh, Brandt had a nice glove save, and then uh, they had another one where he was a little bit shielded, but was able to make the save. So it's been a one-sided affair so far for Matamidi as they lead this one three to zero. Let's take a look at uh, some rankings, uh, the uh, top 20 rankings according to Let's Play Hockey. Now, the records are from the regular season, at the end of the regular season, so the records do not include playoffs. But Matamidi ranked number six in Class A according to Let's Play Hockey. And the only other team remaining in Section 4A for the playoffs that's ranked is Southwest Christian there at number 20. They'll be taking on South St. Paul in the second game of the semifinal here in Section 4A as soon as this one wraps up. But the Zephyrs are looking to get back to the section final for the eighth consecutive year. And as we said, they've uh, kind of had a, their way with St. Paul Academy over the years when they played in section play. They beat uh, St. Paul Academy 6-0 in the 2021 playoffs, 5-0 in the 2018 playoffs, and 3-1 uh, in the 2017 playoffs, which was the last time that St. Paul Academy made the section final uh, in uh, class in section 4A. So Spartans are looking to get back to that. Now, Matamidi in their Metro East Conference, as we said, maybe a, a little bit more of an off year as far as the record goes. And we have fourth in quotation marks because they didn't play a whole lot of games in the Metro East, just 10 games played uh, in the Metro East Conference, but they were 6-4-0. and oh finishing fourth, and they've been in the top 10, according to Let's Play Hockey, all season long. Um, as we said, the early part of the season was kind of stacked for Matamidi. Their record down a little bit because they played 13 games against ranked opponents, six of those from Class A, seven of those from Class 2A, and in playing ranked teams, they were only 2-11-0 against those ranked teams. So Matamidi looking to prove themselves a little bit here, and maybe that's why they came out a little bit on fire in this first period against St. Paul Academy. They had a pretty easy way getting to this point when they beat uh, number eight seed Bloomington Kennedy 10-0 uh, on February 22nd. So looking to uh, make their eighth consecutive section final appearance and they're well on their way to that with a three nothing lead so far after one period of play. It'll be interesting to see what happens here and how long Isaac Biltson stays in goal for St. Paul Academy. They had to use their timeout to kind of slow things down a little bit in that first period and stop after giving up three goals. And Biltson did settle in after giving up those three goals, keeping St. Paul Academy in this game as we begin action here in the second period. Casey Lynn off the faceoff, trying to get it into the zone, but as we saw, just two shots for the Spartans in that first period, so they didn't have a whole lot of time in the Matamidi zone. This will go to neutral ice, and Matamidi will pick it up. It'll pass from Egan to Wegleitner in front, and Biltson will go down and freeze it with just 25 seconds off the clock here in the period. As we said, Matamidi won the state championship last year, and that was in amazing fashion. Here's the shot by Weg Leitner, which almost had a opportunity for Hod Klebeck in front, but it was stopped by Biltson and frozen. There's another one and a glove save made by Biltson. Last year in the uh, state championship game, Matamidi upset War Road six to five in overtime. It was the first loss of the season for War, War Road and came in the state championship game. 
And Matamidi was able to get their second state title in four years last season. And that one went off of Biltson and then just kind of floated back behind the net. And St. Paul Academy will try to regroup and get something going on offense. Liam Huddleston was sent nearly into the bench by Wyatt Tarnowski. And icing is called with 16-10 remaining here in the period. Actually, I correct myself. That state title game was double overtime. It wasn't just overtime. Johnny Grove scored the game winner four minutes and 56 seconds into double overtime to lift Matamidi to the state championship. Zephyrs will play it into the corner. Winston Wright was back there. And then it goes to the other side with Felling. Check that uh, Strecker. And that'll be flipped forward into the neutral zone. Strucker will pick it up and across the blue line, but a nice poke check away. Peter Hoppy able to knock that away for the Spartans. Now across Brummel. Brummel back behind the net and right sent it around to the other side, and it's out of the zone. Flipped forward, that will go into the crowd. was pausing because I was waiting to see if the officials would have called that a delay of game because it was there was no one around when it was flipped into the crowd but they'll kind of wave that off and we'll keep going here with 1522 remaining in the second period Ryan Lipovitz taken off his skates as he tried to advance forward be sent back in by Johnson. And then back to center ice. Turn around and fired down by Loide. And now sent to the near side by St. Paul Academy. Intercepted by Johnson, and that will go towards Biltson, who turns it away. Jack DeHaven with the puck for St. Paul Academy. He'll send it down and the Spartans will switch up three players. That will go off the board looking for Patrick Egan and instead icing will stop the clock. As we said, the winner of this game will face the winner of Southwest Christian and South St. Paul. And South St. Paul came away with a 5-3 win an upset win, they're the number six seed. They beat number three seed, Chisago Lakes. And in that game, three different times, South St. Paul had a five on three advantage over Chisago Lakes and were able to get a couple of goals off of those advantages. And in fact, I heard that there were a couple of times when it was five on three and then another penalty was assessed to Chisago Lakes. And so the referees kind of had to huddle to figure out what to do in that type of situation. And so the puck really went South St. Paul's way and they advanced to the other end of the uh, section semifinal. 14-16 remaining in this one, still 3-0 Matamidi as the puck went into the crowd again and they had to get another one and they'll face off at center ice. Here is Tarnowski, and he will send that down. Biltson gave chase initially, then had to get back into the crease. Matamidi turned up the pressure. Jimmy Egan came around and nearly had an opportunity at an empty net. Here's Sam Harris, forward towards Hod Klebeck. Will go to the near side, where it's picked up by the Spartans as they try to get it out of their zone and finally do. They get something going on offense. Here's Casey Lynn with the shot on, and Brant with the save. In the middle, that goes wide of the net. Great shot try by Kurlitz. But then the pressure eases up and Matamidi controls. That goes off the stick of Wegleitner and then checked away by Hoppy. Peter Hoppy has done a good job here in the second period trying to get it away from the goal scorers for Matamidi. Zephyrs across with Harris. 
Back behind in front, clash of sticks, and Egan couldn't get a clear shot off. Egan then taken down to the ice by Sheridan. Here's Swanson. Swanson from the corner, back behind, wrapping around, trying to set somebody up, finds Felling. Austin Felling with the wrister. That goes wide to the right. Taken behind, Felling in front, and sticked away by Biltson. Matamidi keeps it in the zone. It'll go back behind. That's Felling sending it back behind again. And in front, taken away by Henry Peltier. St. Paul Academy will switch up three and we'll get a stoppage here with 12.22 left to play in the second period. Well, St. Paul Academy has an uh, interesting group of places to draw players from. St. Agnes, Nova Classical Academy, Great River School, Twin Cities Academy High School, and Minnehaha Academy. I am familiar with Minnehaha Academy and the uh, boys basketball area. Had some great teams come out of there. Great football teams as well at Minnehaha Academy. In front, Henry Conlin tried to get it out of the way and it goes back towards Biltson. And that'll go to the neutral zone and it'll go all the way down, but it was deflected. So no icing called this time. Strecker will go back behind the net as Matamidi tries to come out on offense. Right, leaves it off. Shot missed by Strecker. And the Spartans tried to get something in the neutral zone, but Matamidi will take it behind. That's Brummel. And then out ahead for Winston Wright and across ice. Strecker, Strecker waiting. Strecker trying to feed in front. He had first trailing. But no shot opportunity that time. First is taken into the board by Cooper Olson, and then retreats back. Didn't see that the puck was right behind him. Cole Swanson traps it along the board. Ethan Peltier is right around. Peltier helped out by Cooper Olson coming over to try to dig it out of the board. And it'll go to the backboard where it was tied up again and then brought out. Up top, Cole Swanson. Swanson from the blue line, skating toward the slot shot and a blocker save made by Biltson. Lipovitz trying to feed Ethan or Evan Johnson. Johnson in front, one timer. Egan with the shot, but turned away by Biltson. That'll go off the stick of Biltson and into the netting, and the clock will stop. Good sustained pressure that time by Matamidi, but maybe even better defense and goaltending. Biltson has kind of found his footing here. Look at this shot that went off the blocker and the stick into the netting behind. So St. Paul Academy has been able to get the defense going. Now they just need to get the offense going to get back in this game. Matamidi holding on to their lead and doing the best they can here in the second period. Patrick Egan in front and turned away. Lipovitz tried to get it back. But St. Paul Academy continued to play well on defense. Kept in the zone by Decker. Decker will get it back. And that'll go past the stick of Loida. And all the way back to Charlie Brandt. Brandt hasn't had a whole lot to do here in the second period. And we said just faced two shots in the first period. There's a shot from Lipovitz and a glove save made by Biltson. Nine and a half left to go here in the second period. It's Bill McClellan, head coach for South St. Paul, excuse me, the St. Paul Academy Spartans. And that goes off the stick of a Spartan, off of Henry Peltier. 
This is Odd Klebeck. And a save made by Biltson. Odd Klebeck came into this game as the leading scorer for Matamidi, 24 goals and 18 assists, good for 42 points. He has an assist in this game, but hasn't been able to find the back of the net. He's one of three players from Matamidi that have 10 or more goals on the season. Winston Wright had 10 goals, and Patrick Egan had 15 goals coming into tonight. But it was Weg Leitner and Swanson lighting the lamp to begin action for Matamidi. Oh, a whiff in front. Ethan Peltier, Peltier excuse me, had a chance in front and just couldn't pull the trigger. And that'll bounce towards Brandt. He will gather it back and keep it going. Tarnowski back behind over for Harris. And that'll go back behind the Matamidi net as Brandt will leave it off for his defenseman. Picked up by Weg Leitner. Cross ice pass looking for Hod Klebeck. Off the stick of Egan and into the corner. And that'll go to the far side corner. Near side board, Swanson. And that'll go to the back board. Centering pass, looking for Brummel. Goes to the board. Here's Cole Swanson. Swanson, shot high and wide, hits the back. Another shot that goes off the pads of Bildson. Jimmy Egan with a point blank shot and a save made by Bildson. 7.33 remaining here in the second period. Well, Matamidi has gotten a lot of good looks, but Biltson has been a brick wall here since giving up three goals early on. Here's Swanson at the blue line. And we get a whistle. And will this be our first penalty of the game? It looks like Matamidi will go on the power play. Casey Lynn will head to the penalty box. Two minute minor penalty to Casey Lynn. Minor penalty. Charging is the call on Casey Lynn. And a power play opportunity for Matamidi. 22.5% on the power play this season. Up top. One timer, and there's a goal. Power play goal. Jimmy Egan fed by Sam Harris. Jimmy Egan with his first goal of the game. Jimmy Egan also with his ninth goal of the season. And Matamidi gets their first tally here in the second period and now lead 4-0. Check that pass from Harris to Egan. And buries it to the back of the net to get the power play goal. Hod Klebeck will also get an assist on that goal. So the second assist today for Jake Hod Klebeck. And a 4-0 lead for Matamida. In front, turnaround shot is saved. Austin Felling with the turnaround blast and Bildson Able to deflect that away. We'll get a face off to the left of Isaac Bildson. Controlled by the Spartans as they leave it off back behind. Here comes Henry Conlon to go get it. 
kept in the zone. And a little scrum in front and a stop by Biltson. Initial shot by Tarnowski. And then into traffic. And Biltson able to get the glove down and freeze the puck. St. Paul Academy will switch up two players. And another faceoff at the near side circle. And we'll do that again. Someone went early. Austin Felling taking the draw against Lucas Shano. Into the corner. And the Spartans trying to control, but it just bounces off the sticks. And to neutral ice. Matamidi will regroup. Going back, Sam Harris. Harris in front for Felling. Felling will carry it across the blue line. Felling trying to feed in front, but it was taken away from Max Egan. Good defense that time by Henry Salmon. Spartans will switch up with the puck going all the way back down to the Matamidi goal. Across right, right fires, and that goes wide. Picked up by Jimmy Steiner. Jimmy Steiner with the puck, and that goes off the glove of Brandt. Max Strecker. And Strecker had that taken away. Goes into the near side corner and then back behind. Winston Wright came over to try to get it from Adamidi. And that's played off the board by Sheridan and all the way down for Ice. 5.05 remaining second period. Matamidi with one goal here in the second period. Harris, or excuse me, Hod Klebeck to Harris to Jimmy Egan for his ninth goal of the season. Face off near side circle. Controlled by the Spartans. Back behind Sean Murphy. That'll go off the board, off the stick of Brummel. This pass back behind, turn around, try to set it up. Egan was trailing Lipovitz, but Lipovitz couldn't get the clean pass off. Back behind the Matamidi net. Spartans coming in to try to tie it up. And now taken away by the Zephyrs. Flipped into the crowd and a nice catch made by one of the fans off the puck. Four minutes and 20 seconds left to go. The Twins might want to take a look at that guy after making that clean catch in the stands. Face off near side circle in the Matamidi zone. That goes off a stick of Peltier. Matamidi taking over. Weg Leitner across the blue line. Left off for Hod Klebeck through the slot. And it goes to the near side board. Four minutes remain. That'll go back behind. The Matamidi goal. Up in front, Hod Klebeck across the blue line. Full head of steam, Hod Klebeck, and he sends that off the board. It'll go up top for Swanson, sends it down, and then turned away by the Spartans. Jack DeHaven at center ice, couldn't hold on to it. Flipped forward, and Brummel had it for a second. But the Zephyr is just too strong here. Not allowing very many offensive opportunities for the Spartans in this one. Swanson across, and it's taken by DeHaven. Off the far side board, picked up by Brummel. Slot pass off the skate of Weg Leitner, turn around wide. Back behind is Egan, tried to center. And that'll go to neutral ice and then into the Matamidi zone. Spartans will switch up three players with the pluck floating backwards. 
that'll be picked up by Henry Selman and then turned forward. Icing stops the clock with 2.39 left to play second period. Three first period tallies for Matamidi, one here in the second period. And the Zephyrs looking to punch their ticket for the Section 4A final, leading 4-0 with a period and two and a half minutes left to play. That'll go into the crowd. talked about how Matamidi has been challenged this year by playing ranked opponents. The last time they faced a ranked opponent was February 1st when they took on St. Thomas Academy, who was number 15 in Class 2A. And they lost that one. But since then, Matamidi has been on a six-game winning streak. Back behind, Austin Felling. Forward to Max Egan. And now Sam Harris across the blue line. Harris turning around. Harris looking to feed in front. And that was just off the stick of Max Egan. Gloved and kept in by Sam Harris. What a great play to keep that in the zone. Turnaround shot blocked by Bildson. to the corner and tied up momentarily. Max Egan able to try to get it out. Casey Lynn challenging in front and Biltson will go down to the ice. A little pushing and shoving after the whistle, but Biltson kept it out of the net and a minute 35 remains here in the second period. Take a look as Adamidi had that back behind and then Casey Lynn kind of shoving Egan into the goaltender. And the referees are right on top of that to stop it before anything else happened. Off the faceoff, shot by Strecker, turned away by Goldson. Sent down by Swanson into the corner, and that'll wrap around. Henry Peltier had it behind the Spartan net. Spartans trying to get it out of their zone. But again, not really a chance at any offensive opportunity. Braden first taking off his skates and down to the ice. Under a minute to play here in the second period. Turning around, Ben Sheridan. Again, anytime the Spartans get the puck, they're kind of taken off or into the board. And that's what we see here on the near side. 37 seconds left. And this will go to center ice and then left off for Brummel. Brummel wrapping around. Brummel had Strecker in front. And the net came off of the moorings and the officials there to whistle the play dead. A look at Strecker. Had a little bit of an opportunity there before the net was taken off the pegs. Get a face off at the Spartan blue line. And that'll roll forward, taken by Tarnowski to center ice and then back into the Spartan zone. And that's where the puck has been for most of this game. behind Lipovitz. It'll stay behind. Maybe one more opportunity. Now that'll float back and Matamidi got one little shot off before the buzzer. The Zephyrs score a goal here in the second period and expand their lead to 4-0. And after two complete, we head to the second intermission with Matamidi, the top seed in the section, leading 4-0 over St. Paul Academy. This is Section 4A Semifinal Hockey on SCC Sports.
Hi, I'm Morgan Fairchild, and I am a lifetime lover of animals. I've rescued every pet I've ever had, so I know firsthand that when you adopt a shelter pet and make them a member of your family, it not only enriches you and your family's lives, but that of your pet's life as well. The champions at American Humane have been helping animals for more than 140 years. Whether certifying the humane treatment of farm animals, rescuing animals caught in disasters, ensuring the safety of animal stars on screen, or protecting our planet's endangered species, they go above and beyond to further their mission and make the world a kinder place for animals. Please consider adopting a shelter pet and supporting American Humane. You need some help? Your tow chains are a little loose. Could spark a wildfire. I could show you how to secure them properly if you'd like. Sure. Thanks a lot. Anytime. You should check out SmokeyBear.com. They've got a bunch of tips on wildfire prevention. Only you can prevent wildfires. When it comes to health, we're all on our own journey. Our challenges aren't always visible to those around us. You may be living with aches and pains, fatigue, shortness of breath, or other symptoms that make it difficult to manage everyday life. These problems can be the result of a variety of conditions, including long COVID, which one in five adults who've had COVID-19 may develop, according to the CDC. When symptoms linger, they could lead to feelings of isolation, but you don't have to go through it alone. For challenges like these, physical therapy is the solution. Physical therapists are the licensed healthcare providers moving you to better health. They can improve your quality of life through hands-on care, patient education, and prescribed movement. No matter where you are on your health journey, your physical therapist and physical therapist assistant can help. When we work together, we feel better together. So choose more movement. Choose better health. Choose physical therapy. Visit choosept.com to find a physical therapist near you or ask your primary care provider for a referral. This message is provided by the American Physical Therapy Association. a fellow veteran? Of course. Yes. Have you ever asked for help yourself? Uh, it's always tough, right? I always feel like I can solve my own problems, but eventually, you know, you just can't deal with it on your own. And you start to question, maybe people would be better off without me. When you realize that you're not alone, once you take that first step, there's so much support. to Aldrich Arena. We're in the second intermission of the Section 4A semifinal in boys hockey as the number one seed Matamidi Zephyrs lead the number five seed St. Paul Academy Spartans 4-0. to zero. Justin Barrientos along with you here on SCC Sports and uh, Matamidi kind of sprang out of the gate in this one. Three goals in that first period and were able to add a goal to their tally in the second period to hold on to the 4-0 lead. Here was first period action. Gene Wegleitner lit the lamp early on with a goal, and he would eventually have an assist also in that first period, but it was Cole Swanson, two goals in the second period, doubling his goal total for the season, giving Matamidi a 3-0 lead at the end of the first period, and at that point, the St. Paul Academy Spartans took their time out and Isaac Biltson really settled down in goal, gave up that goal to Jimmy Egan mid second period. But Biltson has really done a great job since going down 3-0. And St. Paul Academy hasn't done a whole lot on offense to support him. Two shots in the first period, two shots in the second period for four total shots while Matamidi has been able to get 27 shots through the first two periods of action. Now, Isaac Biltson, really no stranger to that. I, I kind of looked up his stats uh, during the uh, period break, and he's played over 1,200 minutes on the ice this season, and he's faced 90, or excuse me, 915 shots in 26 games this season. So he's averaging facing 
35 shots per game this year. He's given up uh, 85 goals and he's made 830 saves in those 915 shots on goal. But then on the other side, working on the shutout is Charlie Brandt, who has only had to face four shots through the first two periods in goal for Matamidi. So he's done a really good job as well, kind of staying in this game, only facing two shots per period. Well, the winner of uh, this matchup will face off uh, in the uh, finals against either South St. Paul or Southwest Christian. And that game will be coming up um, after the conclusion of this one here at Aldrich Arena. So uh, yet to be determined who the opponent will be, but we do know that the final will be on Thursday here at Aldrich Arena at seven o'clock. And there's a look at the bracket as we see South St. Paul coming away with the upset over Chisago Lake. So a six seed South St. Paul taking on number two seeded Southwest Christian who defeated Simley eight to one in the 2-7 matchup. And as we said, Thursday at 7 p.m. will be the final here in section 4A. So look as South St. Paul trying to figure out something to get back in this game and get some more offense going, build on those four shots through the first two periods. We'll mention again, they used their timeout in the first period, so they can't regroup here in the third period in that fashion. And we'll see what happens here as Adamidi holds on to a 4-0 lead and the Zephyrs will win the opening faceoff and start out Ryan Tornowski We'll send that down for Hod Klebeck. So we said Hod Klebeck, the leading scorer for Matamidi this season. He does have a pair of assists in this game, but the Zephyrs really haven't needed his firepower tonight. A couple of goals from Swanson and then Egan and Wegleitner scoring the other goals so far today. There is Wegleitner, far side, trying to send it across for Egan. Egan will try to pass it off the board to himself, but good defense by Casey Lynn for the Spartans, and offside are the Spartans, and that will stop the clock early on here in the third period. So we said uh, Isaac Biltson, the uh, goaltender for St. Paul Academy, has played all but 128 minutes in goal this season. Jack Swenson, backup goaltender, one and one on the season with those 128 minutes in goal. Back behind is Patrick Egan to the near side. And going after it, Lakin Decker. Ryan Lipovitz trying to get it from the corner, but being hassled by Peter Hoppy. Along the near side board, and we get a whistle. And it'll be the first power play of the night for St. Paul Academy, as number 17, Patrick Egan, will go into the penalty box for Matamidi, a cross check. And a two minute minor on Egan will send St. Paul Academy on the power play a much needed power play for the Spartans. Putting a stick on it is Casey Lynn. St. Paul Academy converting on 10 power plays, 15.2% this season. Now shorthanded Matamidi take it, takes it away. But Hod Klebeck will just send a long pass down to Brummel and try to waste some of this time. Still short-handed, Matamidi holding on to it across the blue line, Brummel, and Brummel has it poked away by Casey Lynn. 125 left in the power play as that will be sent all the way down. Icing, and the clocks will stop. As we said, Matamidi got the best of St. Paul Academy in last year's playoffs, nine to one back on February 28th of 2023. And that is four or five consecutive times in the playoffs that Matamidi 
has bested St. Paul Academy, trying to keep that streak going here tonight. Ahead 4-0. That'll wrap all the way around and be cleared as Biltson will come out of his crease to stop the puck behind the net. Spartans trying to regroup. They've not had a shot on this power play. That is a cross for Steiner. And that'll go into the corner where it's taken away again by Matamida. In fact, the Zephyrs have controlled the puck more during this power play than the Spartans have. 40 seconds remaining as it goes to the near side corner. Spartans trying to get one shot off. Here's Peltier. And Peltier does get that shot off, and it's saved by Brant. So fifth save of the game for Charlie Brant. First power play save. Loose in front. Peltier has it, but couldn't get the shot off. Sam Harris was all over him and denied any shot opportunity, and that will be the end of the power play. So just one shot on goal for St. Paul Academy on the player advantage. Tic-tac-toe passing in front, and a goal for Matamidi. Max Egan puts that home. Short side found the spacing between Biltson's skate and the goal post. And Max Egan gets his first goal of this one as Matamidi leads 5-0. Right there in front, Egan finding daylight and getting the goal. Patrick Egan getting an assist. Sam Harris getting an assist. So that is the second assist of the game for Harris as there's traffic again in front of the Spartan net. This will go cross ice looking for Patrick Egan. So four different players have scored the five goals here today for Matamidi and in front another chance for Patrick Egan it's turned away by Bildson. That'll go up and over the glove of Brant into the backboard. Offside is the call. Max Egan getting his sixth goal of the season for Matamidi. And Harris picking up his second assist came into tonight with 19 assists, and now 21 assists in the season for Sam Harris. And we talked about Hod Klebeck having 24 goals. He also had 18 assists coming into tonight. So now 2020 season for Hod Klebeck, 26, tw excuse me, 24, 26 goals. No, 26 goals and 20 assists. So a very good season for Jake Hod Klebeck. And that will be icing, which will stop the clock at 12.14. Patrick Egan getting the assist on the goal by Max Egan. Six assists this season for Patrick Egan. Winston Wright has that go off of his stick and into the air. And this will go all the way down and we'll get a stoppage with 12.03 remaining. I apologize for not getting the math correct, but if I do enough games here, you will understand that math is not my strong suit. I have a seventh grader and a sixth grader, and they go to mom whenever they have trouble with their math. They know not to ask dad any math questions. This one will go off the near side. And we'll go back behind the Spartan net and flipped out ahead toward neutral ice, where it'll be picked up by William Brummel. I also have a uh, daughter who's a junior at Stillwater High School. But obviously, she is well ahead of me <laughs> in math. That's why I didn't mention her during that. This will be flipped out ahead to center ice as well and picked up by Cole Swanson. And William Brummel takes it near side. 
will still be played at neutral ice. Spartan is trying to get a stick back on it, and that's Preston Curlitz, and he'll head back to the bench. Here's a shot from the point by Henry Peltier, and a save made by Brandt. Across is Jimmy Egan trying to set up Wegleitner. That went off of his stick, and now controlled by the Spartans. Off the far side board towards Brummel, and Brummel will send it to neutral ice. Odd Klebeck trying to control. It'll go forward, and a save made by Biltson. That one just kind of drifted toward him, and a pad save by Biltson. To the far side, Hod Klebeck. And he will get it back momentarily, poked away by Ethan Peltier. Ethan Peltier turnaround, and that'll go to the stick of Charlie Brandt. Weg Leitner. Gaining steam, passes off to Hod Klebeck. Hod Klebeck, odd angle shot, and a save made by Biltson. Under 10 minutes to play, and Matamidi leading this one 5-0. There's Hod Klebeck reaching out and then pulling the trigger, and couldn't find the angle as Biltson able to make the save for St. Paul Academy. Far side, Lake and Decker. Decker will turn around and send it towards Lipovitz. Greg Leitner will, or Loida, excuse me, will turn it around. And back behind the St. Paul Academy net. This will drift towards Brandt, who makes the easy stick stop. Cross looking for Patrick Egan. And this will hit one of the braces up in the rafters here at Aldrich Arena, and so play stopped. And that's the first time today that anything has gone high enough to hit one of the steel supports. Stopping play with 9-12 left to play here in the third period. the corner going after it, Jimmy Steiner, sending it over to Lynn. And a great save made by Biltson. I don't think he was quite ready for that to come back to him as the Spartans were trying to advance the puck forward. And it was quickly sent down and Biltson able to reach out and make the stop. Felling will take the draw against Lynn. go back behind. This is Sheridan trying to get it across, and then Matamida able to gobble it up and the neutral zone. That went off the stick of Max Egan and back behind the net. Now towards the far side of the rink, poked away by Brummel. And down to the ice goes Austin Felling. Trying to keep that on his stick and make a play on it. And it is taken away by Matamidi again at center ice. Sam Harris over to Tarnowski. And then sent into the zone by Lip excuse me, by uh, Luida. There's a chance, Strecker across the blue line. Strecker with the shot that goes wide left. Strecker will get it back near side board. Send it back down. Brummel got a stick on it, sends it. Looking for Strecker, and Strecker has it taken away by Peter Hoppy.
just out of the reach of Strecker. And icing will stop the clock with 7.27 left to play here in the third period. If you want to follow SCC Sports online, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube. Use any of those handles and keep up to date on all the sports activities that you can find here on SCC Sports. Across the blue line, Odd Klebeck, and save made by Bildson. And again, even though Bildson has given up goals in every period here, really had settled down after giving up those three goals. This would be a much different game had Matamidi not scored all three of those early on. And Biltson will let that go as Icing will stop the clock with 6.50 left to play. Here's our unofficial shots on goal. 33 to 6 in favor of Matamidi. So getting close to that average that Biltson has faced this season, averaging 35 shots a game faced. And now we get a face-off in the Matamidi zone. And the Zephyrs control. Off the board for Decker, sent it looking to get Egan in front, but taken away. And now it's sending it forward to Evan Johnson. And that'll go to the near side of the ice for Egan. Ryan Lipovitz into the corner. Patrick Egan back behind. Patrick Egan again, staying with the play. And then Ryan Lipovitz, as the referee leaps to get out of his way. Lipovitz to Loida, shot that hit the water bottle. And will stay back behind, in front, and kicked away. So the Spartans still playing hard and still denying some opportunities here for Matamidi in the third period. And this will stop the clock at 5.31 to go. And the Zephyrs kind of shaking their head after that last opportunity. They had a chance to put one home, but good defense by the Spartans. Here Jimmy Steiner will take the draw against Austin Felling. to the near side corner. It's picked up by Harris. Jimmy Steiner across the blue line. Steiner and a glove save made by Brandt. So Brandt hasn't had to face a whole lot of shots tonight. But he has come up strong when the puck has bounced his way. Take a look at this shot and the glove save made by Brandt. Down in front by Harris, then gets back to his skates to try to keep the play alive. And now Harris across the blue line. Harris with the feet in front and a save made by Biltson. That shot and a save made by Biltson. 443 left to play here in the third period. Face off in the far side circle, controlled by the Spartans. They'll play it off the board. Peltier fighting for it. And Matamidi taking it away on defense. Toward the neutral zone and across. Spinning around was Max Egan. And the Spartans now have it. Trying to get a head of steam going and taken away, but now here's a shot that goes off the stick of Tarnowski. 
That was Liam Huddleston with the shot for St. Paul Academy. Now Felling, and he'll dump it into the corner as Matamidi will change. Shot and a save made by Brandt. Turns it away, near side corner. The shot went wide by Cooper Olson. And then Will Choi sent it to the board for St. Paul Academy. Loose in front, picked up, shot save. That was Brummel's opportunity. Stays in the zone, picked up by Cole Swanson. Swanson looked to feed in front for right. And that'll go back behind the Spartan net. Strecker sends it back behind the Spartan net. In front, and Strecker tried for the one-timer, went wide left. Here's Brummel. Brummel looking to set somebody up, and Wright had his stick lifted up off the ice by Henry Selman. Into the corner goes Strecker, and the puck will float out, and Matamidi will switch up. Back for it is Jimmy Egan. Turn around, shot save made by Biltson. Kept in the zone by Brummel. Brummel sends it down, and it bounced off the board, and a chance for Hod Klebeck, and he couldn't put it home. Great opportunity for Hod Klebeck to get a goal here, and this one will go off the glove of Biltson. Picked up, shot, save. It was Hod Klebeck again, point blank. Swanson picks it up. Under two minutes to play, and that'll go to the neutral zone. Matamidi will have to regroup. Picked up by Jimmy Egan across the center line. Egan across the blue line. Jimmy Egan floating through. Now he'll wrap around in front. Goal! Gene Wegleitner with his second goal of the night. He also has an assist, so three points tonight for Wegleitner. And a 6-0 lead for Matamida. You see Egan wrapping around and then feeding Wegleitner, who went down to a knee in front. So Egan with an assist. Cole Swanson will get the other assist. So two goals and assists tonight for Swanson. A goal and an assist for Egan. And two goals and an assist for Wegleitner. It's Ben Sheridan, number eight for St. Paul Academy. It goes off of his stick and towards Lipovitz. Under a minute to go. Back behind Loida. Passes off to Patrick Egan. And that'll go off the stick of Loida. He'll gain it back near side. Send it back behind him. Picked up behind the net. Lakin Decker in front. And turned away by the Spartan defense. 30 seconds left to play in this one. Again out in front. Loida picks it up near side. Back behind. Under 10 to play. And that'll go off the board by Will Black to center ice. And Matamidi picks up the win and will advance to the section final for the eighth consecutive year. Two goal games by Wegleitner and Swanson. Jimmy Egan, Max Egan with the other goals as Matamidi wins this one 6-0. to zero. 
And for all of us here at SCC Sports, I'm Justin Barrientos. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you next time.